Hey, what's going on, everybody? This your boy Ziploc. I uh, just wanted to talk to y'all about a certain subject. Um, couples. Who's your favorite couple in comic books? Um, I know I got a few I like and some I don't like. Um, I guess I'll get started with the the obvious. Um, Lois and Clark. Lois and Clark. I, I'm okay with that couple. I'm fine with that couple. They can stay married in comic books as long as they want to. I love that couple. Um, I'm fine with that. Let's move on to something a little less obvious. Um, in the Marvel Universe. Now, I love this couple. Thor and Storm. Now, <laughs> this couple is really cool. I, I... I would I would uh, hope that Marvel goes back to this, but what they have done is they were actually gonna at, they were gonna actually be an official couple, but I guess Marvel decided to pull the like race routine bullcrap. Like, hey, we've got Storm, she's black, and Black Panther, he's black too. So let's. Let's make them a couple, and let's forget the whole Thor and Storm thing, which is really stupid because, to me, Storm and Black Panther don't make a good couple. Just because you're the same eth ethnicity and the same skin color and all that, that don't make you couple. That don't make you a great couple. So, I really hope Marvel um, goes back to that couple. Because I really did like that couple. As you can see in some of the pics here. They they make a great couple. Um, Move on to my next one. Now I know I'm going to get shit for this. But Mary Jane and Peter Parker. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan. Well I don't mind Gwen Stacy and Peter Parker. But for me it's Felicia Hardy and Peter. To me they should be together. They should... To me, I mean, they just belong together to me. They, you know, Felicia, she still has feelings for Parker, and Parker still has feelings for her, and I just think they should be a couple. I think they make a great couple. They, they both, they work well together when they get together and fight crime, and and they their personalities are just great together. I like when they get together. They're like the Batman and... And Catwoman of the uh, Marvel U. On the Marvel Universe. Um, so yeah. I really hope they consider that. But now they got it with the Gwen Stacy. And Park, Peter Parker going on. Which which is fine. You know. I don't mind Gwen Stacy either. But I prefer Felicia Hardy. A.K.A. Black Cat. And uh, Spider-Man. Um, another couple. You know I like. In the animated Justice League Unlimited series, they had Wonder Woman and Batman kind of hinting. And that was kind of cool, you know. I never really thought of that, but that was kind of cool. I like that. I like how they, um, you know, Wonder Woman, she was she, she was giving Batman, um, the, uh, she had a little thing going on for Batman. And Batman was like, you know, Bruce, he's like, we can't be a couple because I have issues and all this other stuff. She's, you know, Diana, a.k.a. Wonder Woman, she's like, you know, come on, just give me a chance. And, you know, they actually kissed in the series and they had it going for a while, but then they decided to, I guess DC decided to, nah, let's, just, let's, let's not stick with that. And let's go with the, uh, which is another great couple. And I hope Bruce... You know, marries her one day. I hope he marries her one day and they have a kid or something like that. Um, Selena Kyle, aka Catwoman, and Batman. Yeah, they they they're perfect. I like the way DC did that. They in Batman Hush, he finally kissed her. You know, she's like, "Haven't you haven't you ever been a little curious?" And Bruce just you know gave in and he kissed her, and it was good. You know, that's good for Bruce. And I like how Dick said, you know, you know, your personality has changed in a good way because Bruce, he's always a loon, he's a loner and all this other stuff. He doesn't want help, but 
when he does accept help is good because you know he's a great guy he deserves somebody special like that um other couples they've had they had in the kingdom come one of my favorite comic books they had Wonder Woman and Superman going out after Lois was killed by the Joker um that's in the uh, Elseworlds universe um other couples they've had I think they had them in the X-Men Evolution I think Wonder Woman not Wonder Woman but um shoot they had Wolverine and Storm I believe that's in X-Men Evolution and then they were hinting at a uh, for a while, you know, Wolverine was he liked um Jean Grey. Um they've had Sue Storm and they kinda in Civil War, Sue Storm and Namor, aka Subminer, had a thing for um Sue Storm. And you know, I don't know what that's about. I guess, you know, they he said, you know, we have a special relationship and I guess they were kinda like I don't know. She's probably like, um she just has feelings for him. She still loves Richard. But she probably just has feelings for this guy, you know, it's just mutual feelings and sometimes they go a little bit too far. And hey, what can you do? I'm not saying that that's that's the right thing to do, but you know, stuff happens, you know. And these characters, they're complicated. They have personalities. They're not one-sided. They're not, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't have this, you know, I'm always good. You know, they kind of mess up. Even heroes mess up, you know. Um, some other couples. Um, I really, I don't know, but I, I can't think of any off the bat but I you know I love couples and I man I hope they go back with the storm and the um Thor couple at Marvel cause they really they really should be together in my eyes that would be perfect uh and that's really all I have to say on that guys tell me who your favorite couple is you know leave it in a comment comment rate subscribe tell me what you think Alright, I'm out.